So Josh, a two one defeat in the County Cup final. What were your thoughts of today's game? Yeah, I thought we had an excellent first half. I think we could have probably put the game to bed in the first half and then it just seemed like we kind of blew up a little bit in the second half, but blew out steam really. Um, I thought they were excellent. I thought they worked hard, had good endeavour. I think they wanted to win. They wanted to win the game and we just, I mean, if you look at the players we had playing today, um, they needed the minutes, that's for sure. And I think that's why they were a bit leggy towards the end. But I thought Mark was absolutely excellent, second half, you know, for an 18 year old to come in playing a game like that I thought he was he was outstanding obviously we got Harley on as well which was good good to see and and you know Matt and Jan was pretty decent as well so some some good performances some not so good Toby came in as well playing centre half alongside Mark yeah he did he come back in obviously he'd been out on loan for a while so he's back now I think he's, his loan's finished obviously because the league's done um, yeah so you want to see more from him I think it's important I think it was a it was a trial game for some of the lads today you know to see where they're at you know regarding the, the remaining games that are coming up and obviously losing 2-1 is probably not the best result for them and, and some of them need to have a look at themselves a little bit with their performances. Did you have next season in mind and who are you going to invite back to pre-season? Yeah, I think so. Obviously, we've got to look at next year and, and you know, we've got some tasty fixtures in pre-season which I'm sure will get announced at some point, <laughs> which I'm not going to do. Um, but obviously, you you know, you've got to start looking now last kind of three games of the season who's going to be here next year. So, obviously, that's... Uh, Kind of, well, I mean, every game's a trial game, really, from now to end of the season. But, you know, I wanted to see a bit more than what I saw tonight. And you stuck by your guns of what you, the, the way you've played this cup and from the start to finish. You didn't play a first eleven tonight just to win the cup and maybe defeated because of that, maybe. Yeah, but, look, we've got... The league's a priority, like I said, you know, at, at the weekend, and, that, and that's what it's about. It's, it's a great opportunity now. You know, you look at Mark today and he'll be in with us pre-season. You know, and that's, that's what we're looking at. We're looking at young lads and what they can do and how they fit into our you know the first team environment and some of them good today they've got some great attitudes and that's what we're looking at but what I would say is you know we said at the end it took a 35 year old in, in Yan to, to run in behind and, and work for 90 minutes so when you're looking at next season when you've got younger lads that are not putting that shift in then obviously it makes your decision a bit easier for you and you Brian McLean started I'm guessing because of being suspended on Saturday and, and got a goal yeah it's been a bit bit, bit of a dumb dumb again to know what you mean <laughs> yeah no he got a, obviously got a goal Saturday he, to be honest he didn't start the best um, so he probably he needed a bit of a kick to get himself going but no it was a great goal good finish um, and then obviously coming in at half time he, he got a dead calf from, from the kick so it's kind of fortunate probably he's not available for Saturday um, but it'll be ready but we'd be sure enough ready for Monday. Was that from the kicks I carried from my goalie when he... doing the, the cry kid kick? You mean the two foot? Uh, yeah, I showed it to the ref actually. He says, "Oh, I didn't, I didn't think it was a foul," and then I showed him back. And he goes, "Yeah, I think it was." So yeah, uh, I, I expected him to book him actually, but he didn't. But no, no, yeah, it was, it was, it was from the uh, kick. So we, we went out half time and asked him, you know, how he was, and he, he said it was he was just kind of tightening up. So you don't want to get him pulling his calf and be out the rest of the season. So we just took him off. And the second half, um, obviously heartbreak, maybe. Probably the showed their pace maybe on the on the wings more and yeah and more I, that a bit more I, I just think we you know some of the lads you're playing have, have not played regular football for us and I think you know first half you look at the way we pressed and they turned the ball over quite quickly and then second half I just didn't feel like we could do that enough but also we didn't keep the ball well enough so when they dropped off into their shape we didn't really keep the ball we tried to probably go a bit forward a bit too early rather than keeping it and drawing them out a little bit so hey it's a learning curve for them it's, it's a great learning curve especially for the young lads like Mark you know to come into a competitive game first team game in a first team environment and they'll learn a lot from it What did you make of the penalty to get them back? It was very soft wasn't it? Very soft <laughs> but again We've got spun, centre half's got spun, other centre half hasn't covered round, it's took a midfielder to come across and then obviously the penalty's from it. So there's a, a few errors before that. You know, it's the same with the first goal, you know, we've turned the ball over in the middle of the park in a bad area where we shouldn't, so then we've got counted quickly and then obviously centre half hasn't engaged quick enough and then they've ended up scoring from it. So again, areas that really we shouldn't be scoring from. Should Sundergaard have done a little bit better with the, the second goal? I'm not sure, it looked like he chested it, didn't it? So I'm not sure if he's hit the floor and bounced up. So uh, we'll, have to re we'll have to look at it when we go back in. Um, you know, obviously Andres didn't really have a lot to do, did he, in the game? And then obviously that's happened. But it did look like it bounced up. So I don't know if it's just bouncing its chest and it's kind of ricocheted and they've got bodies around it and they've ended up scoring from it. But again, we've just got to be quicker in those little moments and, you know, to defend better in the box and obviously leave a box be a bit more clinical. And on to Saturday night now, but obviously um, York and Alfton getting results that didn't really help Hereford tonight. No, it didn't, did it? <laughs> no, it didn't. No, yeah, um, obviously we're four points out of it now, going into three games, so, you know, realistically we've got to win every game and, and 
I think before tonight it was about what we do, not the others. And I think them obviously getting those results means that we've got our kind of hope that other teams drop points. But like I said, we're going to fight all the way to the finish. So it's mathematically not possible for us to get in the playoffs and we'll keep pushing and we're going to spend more and we're going to look to win. And obviously we've got Brackley on the Monday, so we're going to go as, as best we can to make sure we get results and, and wait for someone to slip up. And spending more in a similar position, so it's kind of like losing. Yeah, takes well, all it's, it's like one goal in it, isn't it? So I think same same win, same draw, same losses, and one goal in it. So well, it would have been probably two goals in it for us if the ref hadn't given away given the weekend. But yeah, so it's going to be, yeah, all the time. Look, at the end of the day, we lose on Saturday. That, that's it done. If they lose, it's done for them. So it is literally all, when it takes all. Okay, great.